guys welcome, welcome back, back to our, our channel. channel i'm jessely and i'm paris and in today's video we're going to be doing a q a so i have the questions on my phone oops not in there so we will get started okay so the first question we have 15 questions by and the way. i don't know any of these questions no, she by doesn't the way. i picked them all myself so the first question is what is your favorite song oh god <laughs> um you can go first. Okay, so my favorite song is Driver's License oh, gosh. by Olivia Rodrigo. And if you guys haven't listened to it, go listen to it. It's so good. But that's my favorite song right now. Do you have a favorite song? No. I just, it depends on my mood. Then um, it's either between One Direction, Little Things, but that's like an old song. So like if it's like newer, it would be Harry Styles, Sweet Creature. That's not that new, but like that's, that's newer, newer than, than Little, little Things. things. Okay, next question. What's your spirit animal? Okay, you go to... So my spirit animal, I feel like it would be a dolphin because dolphins are very social, like animals, and I'm very social as a person. So like meaning like what animal would represent you? Yeah, so like I think, and dolphins and I, I think we're like spiritually connected. I think dolphins are so cool. So a dolphin. Actually, the, um, a college did an interview with me and they were like, um, if you could be any, um, animal what would you be so I said lion so I'm gonna say a lion and my explanation was they're very like determined and like they get like their job done they're very form family oriented just like I am they're like strong and stuff like that and they're just yeah they're pretty cool they're pretty feisty too I feel like I'm, I'm a little feisty <laughs> not gonna lie so yeah okay the next question is what is your favorite thing about each other's so, like what's your favorite thing about me Okay. What's my favorite thing about you? So you could go. You're gonna go first for all of them. Okay. Uh, my favorite thing about Jessly is probably her ability to kind of like laugh everything off. Like she doesn't like nothing. Like if something like if someone makes fun of her, it's not doesn't like like mm -hmm. hit her deep. Like she just kind of laughs it off. It's like oh okay, like it's funny, like whatever. So I like that her personality. She's very care. Like she's carefree and she like just kind of goes with the flow. Thank you. Welcome. Um, my favorite thing about you would probably be your like social skills. Like you're more like outgoing than me. So like you'll talk to like anyone, and I'll <laughs> I'll just I'll be like more reserved. Um, but yeah, like you're like very like easygoing and just like easy to talk to. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So what is your favorite food? Meal or just food? Just food. You can just do food. So, like, my favorite food is mashed potatoes. It's really so good. Mashed potatoes are my favorite food. My favorite food would probably be, honestly, probably, like, either, like, chicken nuggets or, like, chicken tenders, like, a little five-year-old, to be honest. Those are good, though. Yeah. Those are good. Okay. Next question. Or like, any type of chicken. I like chicken. If you could see anyone in concert, who would it be? <gasps> wow. I feel like I would want to see Harry Styles. I, I do love Ariana Grande, but I have seen her already in concert. I'd love to see her again, but if for the first time ever, I would love, love to see Harry Styles. Probably cry. So Harry. You definitely would. I definitely would cry. Okay, I would want a reunion of One Direction. That's my all-time. I think time. you and every teenage girl wants that. Yes, so them. Oh, they're so good, though. Okay. Um, next question. What is the best advice you've ever received? Oh, gosh. Take the obstacles that are in your way and use them as your stepping stones towards your success. Nice. So that was from my grandma. So okay. inspirational. Okay, so I'm going to use, um, my cousin's dad, well, like, my second cousin's dad, like, Cooley's dad, Diego. But basically, we were talking about, like, what I'm most excited for for college. And I was just like, you know, just to like start new, um, get out of my comfort zone, meet new people and stuff like that. And so like he was just honestly saying like to just be yourself. Um, everyone is like very unique and has something different to offer to the world. So like if you change yourself, like you're not offering like your full potential, like you're not offering what you have. So like he was just honestly just saying like be yourself, um, step out of your comfort zone, um, like, don't be afraid to be who you are and stuff like that, so. it's a good one. Okay, um, what trait do you relate to most that stems from your zodiac sign? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think for me, I'm a Libra, if you didn't know. Um, 
Libras are one of the most social signs, actually, and I'm very social, so that like kind of goes together. And also, Libras hate confrontation, and they'll avoid it at all costs, which is something I do. So I really don't feel comfortable like confronting people. So yeah, it's probably like the most similarities between myself and then my zodiac sign. So that's me. Okay, so um. The first thing that came to my head before even looking at this was stubborn. So like I am very stubborn. Like I sometimes I will show it, but sometimes I won't. Like I am I'll forgive, but I won't forget. Um so stubborn was my first one. And one of my strengths it says that they're responsible and I feel like I'm very responsible. Tell them what you are. Oh, I'm a Taurus. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm a Taurus, by the way. Thank you. Okay, next question. Um, what will you miss most when you leave for college? So I feel like the obvious, like, I feel like Mr. Bliss. <laughs> that's one of our teachers. <laughs> I feel like the obvious is, like, your family, but besides my family, I feel like I'm going to miss, like, the comfort of just, like, walking around my own house. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I feel so comfortable. Like, I walk around my house literally in my comfy, and that's it. Like, that's literally what sucks. Like, I can't do that in college, so... You can do that in your dorm room or yeah, in your it's apartment. Not, it's not the same. And then I'm probably going to miss, um taking my like five hour showers and having like my concerts in the shower, my, my world tour, my, you know, my book signing, my TV, my talk show, you know, I can't do all that in the shower at college. So that's probably what I'll miss. Unless you have your own. Like, but it I doesn't have to be a community I don't think bathroom. I, but what it like, even if I share it with other people, I don't want everyone hearing what I'm going to say on TV. I mean, eventually yeah. you're going to get comfortable around them and you'll be yeah, like... Yeah, but I think in the like the beginning, I'll miss that a lot. So. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like you said, family. Um, honestly, <laughs> not much. <laughs> like, Dang. like, I don't, like, walk around. Like, I walk normal in clothes. No. Like, I do take long showers, but they're not, like, really long. Really, I don't know. Um, yeah, like, I'm going to be, like, I don't really, like, change that much. So just, like, just moving into college is just going to be, like, very different. Like, because I'm used to like I'm like comfortable around here so like just like the sudden change is just gonna be a little off but obviously I'm gonna get used to it and stuff like that I'm gonna miss my bed too because my bed's memory foam and it goes like up and down yeah. like it and in college I won't do that so I will miss that okay so where do you see yourself in five years so in five years we will be 22 right mm -hmm. yeah we'll be 22 so everything goes according to plan I hope to be in my second year yes yeah, second year of grad school hopefully with like a boyfriend <laughs> you know like with a boyfriend uh, living maybe in an apartment with my roommates and just enjoying my last couple years of college well not really college anymore but grad school before I really get out in the world all by myself but yeah. So hopefully, hopefully, I will be working at Hackensack Hospital as a nurse. So we're going to be praying for that. Yes, like Paris said, hopefully I do have a significant other, <laughs> like boyfriend, any, like, I don't know. Um, um, and I hope that I do have, like, um, a pretty, like, like um, firm group of friends, like, from, like, college or, like, high school, depending where our relationships take us. So, yeah. What is one thing you learned about yourself in 2020? See, I didn't mind 2020 at all. Like, I just... We had both very different experiences in quarantine. She loved it. I hated it. I learned to start doing things more because they make me happy. I don't need to worry about, like, I shouldn't be doing things because it makes everyone else happy. I need to do things for myself. So I hope to bring that attitude into the rest of 2021 and the rest of my life. So yeah, that's what I learned. Oh, my one joy was that I got closer to Paige. Uh, Kayla, Paris, and Savannah. And that was because um, we went to this retreat called OLR. And I already had, like, I was already friends with, like, Savannah and Paris. I was, like, acquaintances with, like, Kayla and Paige, but we weren't that close. But because of that retreat, we got closer. And then we were able to, like, now we're, like, the bestest of friends. And, like, we hang out, like, every weekend and stuff like that. Like, tomorrow, we're going to see each other. <laughs> we literally so, yeah. can't go a weekend without seeing each other. It's so bad. You learn how to extend your friend group. Yes. That's what you learn. There you go. Learn how to extend your friend group. There you go. Okay. Which TV duo do you feel that we most relate to? 
Spongebob and so Patrick. And Patrick, just like Spongebob and I'm Patrick. Oh my um, god, my favorite color is pink. And my favorite color is yellow. We're Spongebob oh and Patrick. There we go. Yeah, we're Spongebob and Patrick because Jess's favorite color is yellow. My favorite color is pink. I'm taller like Patrick. Jessly's shorter. Jessly's Jessly's smarter. Like SpongeBob's smarter than Patrick. So there you go. Okay. Um, if you could go back in time to any decade, which would you pick? Oh, I like that question. I feel like I want to go either to the '80s or the '90s. I was just gonna say like, '90s. The clothes were just like they seemed like so fun. And I don't know. I kind of want to go to a time before there was like cell phones and stuff. Like I mean, there were still like cell phones in the but, like, '90s. Not like this. No, not, not like, like this. that. So like definitely like, and I feel like everything like it just looks so laid back. So I'd probably the '80s or the '90s. Yeah, I would say '90s. I was actually talking to my mom about this, and I was like, like I like the clothes from the '90s, and then also like I just like hear like childhood stories. Well, my mom wasn't really that little back then, so maybe like my brother like I liked maybe his childhood story, but he was born in '98. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like times were different back then like yeah now like everyone's like on their phone and technology and like they can't live without it but like i would like to just like go outside play in the park and just like like ride our bike home like usually people are just like always on their phones like they'll be on the xbox or whatever so yeah. like it'll be a lot more fun okay what's your favorite social media right now tiktok it's literally just it's just tiktok yeah tiktok or just snap because that's how like i mostly communicate with people is like through snap i don't really use like text message so but like i'm always on tiktok though tiktok like, is just it's such an obsession and yeah I'm, ugh, it's just so good i love everything about tiktok okay oops I lost and you one. learn a lot yeah of you learn stuff. a lot of stuff on tiktok yeah. so it's actually very educational okay Okay, um, what's something you wish you could tell your 7th grade self? 7th grade, do not rush to get to high school. Literally enjoy your second and your last year in middle school because like when I was in like 7th and 8th grade, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get out. And then I got into high school, I was like, oh my gosh, I should have like not taken our middle school years for granted because I honestly loved it. Like those were like probably like the most best years the fun years my favorite was like playing basketball now i'm like eh about basketball <laughs> so like just enjoying the live the years uh i feel like i would tell myself don't worry about what you look like because i swear no one cares absolutely nobody cares what i looked like in seventh grade like nobody in middle school cared um seventh grade was the best year of your middle school years so enjoy every second of seventh grade because that was the best year of your life. Um, oh, and wear your rubber bands because they will pay off in the end. I promise they'll pay off. So yeah, that's what I tell myself in seventh grade. I think that's good. Okay, and then our last question is what were what was sorry what was your first impression of me? What was my first impression? Of you? Okay, I don't even remember. Okay, I don't I think, remember. I think mine. <laughs> Was so Jessie obviously has curly hair, and I did not know like anyone with curly hair, like no nobody what? nobody in my like middle school class yeah, had I had hair like this. Like Jessie's curls are this. so nice, Thank you. and nobody like in my class had curly hair. So I was like, I remember the first thing I saw, I was like, oh, she has curly hair. Okay, well, first of all, fun fact: um, we played each other in seventh grade in basketball, but um, when we did like the there's a priority registration night for. Um, Mary help. Oh, yeah. So then I saw like Emily. Emily, I went to school with Emily. Emily Pye. She was like hanging out with Paris, and then like I saw Emily. But then we I knew each other. We did know yeah. each other. So, so then I saw like Emily, and then I saw Paris, and I was like, I think I know that girl. Like I remember. I think I played basketball with her. So then I told my mom. She's like, Yeah, I think so. But like I don't know if that, that's not really an impression. I was just like, Oh my gosh, I like know this person. Like that's the first time that I'll I remembered you. But my first like, didn't Emily introduce us? That day? I think so. I think she introduced us. I don't really remember. Like, maybe. I remember there's a picture of Jesse and myself and our friend Alyssa from the first, first day, day of school, school, freshman year. And we were in like our lecture hall, which is like where the school meets. And then it was myself, Jesse, Alyssa, and then our friend Savannah was on the other side of me. 
and they we were learning how to use um, Shobi, which is like kind of like our Google Classroom, like this is what we're using. And our teacher said, okay, take a selfie and then upload it so we would learn. And I took a selfie with them. Yeah, little did I, I we know, little did we know what would happen. And then we had the same homeroom. Yeah. So when we had homeroom, we'd walk to homeroom every day together. Yeah, but I don't know how we sat next to each other no. that day. I don't know, because I know like Alyssa and I were walking around and probably like you and Savannah were walking around because mm -hmm. I knew Alyssa from town. So then probably like we just ended up just like yeah. sitting next to each other. It's kind of crazy. Like if I feel like if I would have sat with someone else, it would have been a little different. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are all the questions we have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys like to see next. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the post notifications so you never miss another one of our videos. We love you guys and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.